number seven on worksheet 20.4 for algebra two. We're given the number line, so we kind of have to go backwards. We're going backwards to find not only the graph, uh, but also the equation. So if you, if you remember with the number line, remember that the, with the shading, that meant that the line from the graph was above your number line. And there's no shading here, so that means it's going below here. Shading means we're going above again. So as we see this, now we get to have an idea that in our equation, since this is going up to the right, it's going to be positive in front. And since they're both going in the same directions, it should be an even degree number, like a 2 or a 4 when we finish our degree in our equation. Now this also gives us an idea of what this sketch is going to look like. Positive 3, and there's positive 3 on the x-axis. Negative 1, and there's negative 1. So really all that's happening is we're taking this number line. This number line would be like our x-axis. We're just attaching the y-axis here. And we're going to do this same thing here. Now, there's our positive 3. It's going up that to the right. Now it's going below. And then it's going up to the left just the same way as that one. So there's our graph. Now we just have to worry about the equation. Since there's two numbers on this number line, that gives us two intercepts, which means we'll have two factors. They'll both start with x. And then to get these numbers inside, all we're doing is doing the opposite. Negative 1 becomes pl uh, plus 1. Positive 3 becomes minus 3. And since the lines are just going straight through, there's no bouncing, which means there's no squares. It doesn't lay flat, that we can tell. So there's no cubes. So there is our equation, x plus 1 times x minus 3.